It's a very helpless condition. Sometimes we see the animal will fall in the well, and then how to get the animal out of the well? It's impossible. But there's a story that the donkey fell in the well. How to get it? They didn't know how. They thought anyway, we'll just fill the well up, we'll just fill it up, throw stones and rocks into the well. So they were throwing stones and rocks and they were throwing them in the well and they fall on the donkey, the donkey would just let them roll off its back onto the ground. And so they kept on throwing these things into the well and everything was going below on the bottom of the well gradually. The bottom of the well came up and up, and then one day the donkey got out of the well. So this example is very instructive for us. Just like sometimes, you know, we get in difficulties in our life. Just like you can fall in a well, it's like falling in a well. You don't know what to do, you don't know how to get out of the trouble. And so many people may throw things on you, they, you know, they hurl, say so many bad things at you, they make you, they just criticize you and condemn you and make you feel so useless and hopeless. So you just have to let it roll off the bed, let it fall on the ground, you know, trample on it, and gradually one day you get out of the way. So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he is our wonderful example of Grihastha family life. He had a big family. I heard this Bhaktivinoda Thakur. I thought Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda had, I think, 11 children. And so, he was never entangled in family life. He has written a nice song. In his songbook, he has written about uh, Sharanagati, surrender to Krishna. Right, so surrender to Krishna is described in the Chaitanya Charitamrita and then also quoted by Prabhupada also in the Bhagavad Gita purport of 18 chapter verse 66. He said, Anukku yasya pratiku Right? It's the first two items of surrender. Anukul Yasya Sankalpa accept everything favorable for devotional service. And Pratiku Yasya Varjanam reject everything unfavorable for devotional service. And then we should also accept Krishna as our protector. We should know that only Krishna can maintain us. We should have no desire separate from Krishna's desire. And we should always be meek and humble. 
So this is how Acharya is defined. Sharanagati, surrender to Krishna. So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote songs about each of these items of surrender. So he has written this about uh, this accepting everything favorable for devotional service. And he describes. Ye dina grehe vajana deke grehe ti golo kopaya. He said, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, when I worship my deity in my home, then my home becomes Goloka Vrindavan. So we see the difference, you know, Ranyakashi and Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So there's different kinds of Grihastas. There's the Grihamedis and there's the Grihastas. The Grihamedis, they're the, their business is just Medi, Medi, Envy. They live in the house to envy others. Their whole time is spent envying, being envious of others. And their only interest is money and sex. So that is Griham Medi life. They never inquire about the absolute truth. So Kadeva Goswami also describes, he says, Apashitam Atma Tatvam Greheshu Grihamedinam. Look that those people who are Grihamedis, they never inquire about the absolute truth. Shukadeva the science of the soul. They won't ask, they're only thinking of the body. And they live in the home just for sense gratification. And surround themselves with the fallible soldiers. Mm, the fallible soldiers, the family, the wife, the servants, the dogs, the, the cats, all the things, they're not going to protect us. They're not going to give us any security. It's a life. Human life is not meant for just comfortable living. And we don't live in the house just to be secure. We should know that life in this world is temporary. And we take birth in this world and one day we will also leave this world. But to get the human form of life is a great fortune for us to inquire about the absolute truth. And if we don't make use of that human life, then it's a great waste of the human life. Right? There's the Brahmana and there's the Kripana. In contrast to the Brahmana, there's the Kripana. The Brahmana is the one who is thinking about higher purpose of life. The Brahmana wants to make good use of the human life. He wants to use it for his benefit and for others also. But the Kripana, they're just miserly people. 
They don't want to do anything to help others. They only think about their own self. Mm, they have money. They just want to look at it. They like to count it. They don't use it for the service of the Lord. And so, they have the mentality like Ravan. Just like Ravan, he thought Mother Sita, she's the goddess of fortune, and she's the eternal consort of Lord Ram. And Lord Rama wanted to enjoy Mother Sita. And Ravan like people, they want to take the goddess of fortune in the form of Lakshmi, they want to take her for their own sense so it's very important for us to understand the value of the home, how it should be used, what it should be used for. As we said, Bhakti Vinod Thakur is worshipping the deity in his home. So we here we see this uh, on the it is customary to put the deity on the top floor because then people won't walk on the hand of the deity. Nothing should be above the deity. And so usually you see the temples are put on the top of the building. So here also the deity has been established on the top. Mm. And we, we want to, we were very happy to see the deity has been brought here and that the deity will be worshipped. It's the duty of householders that they should install the deity in their home and they should worship the deity. Consider the deity to be the proprietor of the home. Just like usually that the owner of the house, he'll live on the top of the building. So, here also, Lord Jagannath, he's the proprietor, not only of this house, he's the proprietor of the whole creation. Yeah, he's the Lord of the Jagat, the entire Jagat is all his. And we are all his tiny, tiny servants. We have come to this world with the opportunity to take up devotional service. We are so fortunate to get the opportunity to come in the Holy Dawn and to have the association of the devotees. We should think the Dham is our real home. We always talk about back home, back to Godhead. And we say, home sweet home. Right, so here is the home. This, this is the home of Lord Jagannath, and this actually this is home for all devotees. We come to the Holy Dham, we should think this is our real home, we back home, back to Godhead. We never want to leave. We want to stay here forever, engaged in the service of Lord Krishna. 
We come to the Dham to give service, not to be served, but to give service. Krishna is the Lord, and we come here as the tiny servant. We've spent many lifetimes in the material world. We have been in a lot of illusion. Birth after birth. We have forgotten Krishna. But now, somehow, by the mercy of the Lord and His pure devotees, we have the opportunity to again become situated in His service. We've been attracted by the external energy for many, many lifetimes. Now we want to become attracted to the internal energy. Internal energy means Everything in relation to Lord Krishna and his different potencies, his different incarnations, his different devotees. We've had many homes over many lifetimes. In this material world, is very temporary. We cannot remain. We're driven. We take birth in one place and then we're driven out. We have to take birth some other place. This morning I was teaching the Srimad Bhagavatam, the second canto, second chapter. And it describes about the yogi leaving the body and going back to God. And so the devotee asked me, he said, when we go back to Godhead, he said, will we remember about our life in the material world? So I told him that when we go back to Godhead, you, you, you understand that whatever happened here in this material world, it was just a dream. Just like every night, we dream many times in the night. And you wake up in the morning and you don't remember anything. They're all forgotten. In the same way, when we go back to Godhead, we won't remember anything about this life. This life is just the dream, the daydream, we have the daydream, we have the night dream, the daydream. But when we go back to Godhead, we'll all be forgotten. All of the homes we had, and all the property we had, and all the relationships we had, will all be forgotten. Srila Prabhupada described them and said, just like bubbles, he said, when the waves come in from the sea, sometimes there are bubbles when the waves created. And the bubbles are there for a moment and then they burst. And sometimes little children get bubbles. You know, you get that soapy solution and you have the little ring on a handle and they put and they get and make it like that and then bubbles come out. And the bubble will be there for a few moments and then 
，就像有的时候小孩们他们玩这个吹泡泡的游戏，他们会有一种肥皂的这种溶液，然后有一个杆儿，然后上面连着一个环，这样的挑起来，它就会产生很多很多的气泡。这些气泡停留片刻的时间，然后破碎了。Good, I like in this world. It's like that, just like so many bubbles. 我们在这个世界里的生活就像是那样一样，就好像很多的气泡一样。But all the forgotten, when you go back to time. 等我们回归手神的时候，所有的这一切都将会被遗忘。We should understand that if we're going to go back to God, then we have to purify ourselves. 我们必须要记住，如果我们想去回归手神的话，首先我们应该净化自己。We have to purify the mind and the intelligence and the ego. 我们应该净化自己的心意，净化自己的智性，净化自己的自我。We have to become submissive and surrender to Krishna. 我们应该非常恭顺，并且臣服于 Krishna. Our mind has to merge into the super soul in submissiveness. 我们应该在顺从之中，将自己的心意融入到超灵之中。That whatever we hear from the Lord, we will take immediately to His instruction and to follow it very carefully. 无论我们从主内里听到什么，我们立刻认真的去执行，去仔细的去执行。This is required. We want to go back to Godhead. We have to get rid of all the contamination. 这就是我们要回归守神所必须做的。如果我们想回归守神的话，应该消除自己所有的污染。Hmm. First, we give up the gross body. 首先，我们应该放弃粗糙的躯体。But still, we have the subtle body. 但仍然，我们有精微的躯体。And in the subtle body, we still have our identity. We're not ghosts. We're just in a subtle form. 在精微的躯体之内，我们仍然有自己的身份。我们并不是鬼魂，我们仍然有一个形象。And that subtle form will go through the Vaishnavera planet, which is a planet of fire. The Vaishnavera. Vaishnavera yes, it's all fire, and that purifies the subtle body. And then you go through higher planets, like on the way to on the way to the higher on the way to the top of the universe. We go through the Milky Way. Which is called the Sisumara. It's a circle. Anyway, you go through that place and you go through that to come to the higher planet. We get to a planet like Maharloka. Ready? Okay. You know? Okay, I'll just finish. Give me two minutes. And from Maharloka, then when the when the planets get devolved and start to burn up in the bottom, at the end of Brahma's life, fire comes out of the mouth of Ananta Shesha and the lower planets are all burning. And then you go. You want to have. You have to go up. You get airplanes. They have airplanes in the higher planets, and you take the airplane up to Brahmaloka. And from Brahmaloka, then you have a choice what you want to do. There are different kinds of perfections. Some will stay in the material world. They will take. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will remain in the material world. They may become in charge of another planet. Some will And takes on his spiritual form in the spiritual planet. So, do you think when we get to Goloka Vrindavan, we'll remember this place? Will we remember our past lives? No. We don't remember even our past lives now. 
我们现在都记不得，我们过往的生活了。But that forgetfulness is there. But we can meditate on our spiritual position. That we have an eternal relationship with Krishna. We want to remember that. We've forgotten it just now. We're conditioned, we're covered. We have to purify ourselves. You can do it. You can meditate on the universal form. Or you can meditate on the super soul and do a stanga yoga. Very difficult processes. But Lord Chaitanya has come to make it very easy for everyone in the Kali Yuga. Just join the Sankirtan movement and chant and dance. And ecstasy of love of God you can go back to God. Krishna will personally come and pick you up from this world and take you back to God. Are you ready? Okay, so we're ready to do RT. Shri Prabhupada Ki. Or back to Vrindaki. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.